It is well known that humans have been hunting animals in order to feed themselves since the early ages. Therefore, meat is one of the earliest nutritional sources for humans. Archaeological evidence shows that domestication of various plants and animals began in six different regions around the world with the earliest settlements of humans seven to 10,000 years ago. The main target of this revolutionary change, which first began in the tropical and subtropical belts of Southeast Asia, South Asia, North and Central Africa, and Central America, is to improve agriculture and benefits from the animal's milk, meat, wool, and skin more efficiently. The most important milestone of raising livestock that continued for thousands of years was to raise livestock in enclosed areas in order to provide faster and tastier meat from animals and developing animal feed. Additional to clover, corn, barley, wheat and soya, oilseed residues, molasses, and intensive fattening feed made the price of meat affordable, therefore increased the meat consumption. World cattle inventory today is one to three million head. India and Brazil own approximately 30% of the total world cattle inventory. The European Union, China, the United States, and East Africa, known as the Horn of Africa, are the big cattle breeding countries. World sheep inventory today is one, two billion head, and world goat inventory has reached one billion head. China and India are the leading countries on the world small cattle inventory. Global meat demand is increasing. However, the increase in meat consumption varies greatly between countries. Meat consumption is increasing slowly. As a matter of fact, almost came to a deadlock in Europe and United States, which are the biggest meat producers of the 20th century. The biggest demand for meat in the world comes from the rapidly growing middle class in India and China. While meat is an affordable product in the developed markets, it is luxury food in countries with poor livestock infrastructure and can only appear on the menus of special dinners. Researchers reveal that the demand for animal protein increases based on the increase in the level of income because consuming meat is a status symbol for those with better incomes. However, consuming meat is still almost luxury for many people in developing countries. The gap between the developed and developing countries reveals itself in meat consumption. While people meet the 56% of their protein needs from animal products, the rate is only 18% in developing countries. The most important part of meat processing is slaughterhouses where meat is prepared for the industrial use. The Oikers established the earliest slaughterhouses in history and their traditions were continued and developed during the Seljuk dynasty after the adoption of Islam in the following periods. The earliest examples of modern slaughterhouses were built in the 10th century during the Seljuk dynasty by the Butcher's Guild. Butchers slaughtered animals in open areas air public spaces covered on the sides. These slaughterhouses performed halal methods of slaughtering according to Islamic rules and paid strict attention to hygiene. Meat, offal, and leather traders had their shops outside the city walls and inspected by the butcher's guild. During the Ottoman periods, the same tradition was maintained with the improvement of hygienic measures to preserve meat from bacteria and manage the waste, particularly while meeting the meat needs of the palace. The first slaughterhouse in Istanbul was built in 1453 with the order of the Sultan Mehmet II after the city was conquered by the Ottomans. Slaughtering animals publicly on the streets was banned by an imperial order and certain places were assigned to public slaughterhouses and transporting and delivery of the meat after the slaughtering was regulated. 
Since butchery is a very difficult and messy profession by its nature, it was performed by the lowest class and took a while until it was improved. Butchers were infamous people involved in bully raging and fights, and people refrained from them. By the same imperial decree of Mehmet II, butchers were employed as gardeners during six months for their psychological fitness. The first slaughterhouse in the United States was established in 1640 in the state of Connecticut. Although the Europeans learned the system of slaughterhouses from the Ottomans, slaughterhouses had not been established until the 1800s in Europe. The first statesman who understood the importance of slaughterhouses in terms of health and safety reasons was Napoleon Bonaparte. The first slaughterhouse in Paris was built in 1807, under the order of Napoleon. Following that, modern slaughterhouses became widespread in Europe, Far East, and Sub-Saharan Africa. After the Second World War, cold storage began to be used in slaughterhouses and accessing healthier and more affordable meat became possible. High levels of proteins and essential amino acids contained in meat cannot be produced in the human body. Therefore, it is important to take them through diet. Also, meat is considered as the main source of zinc, magnesium, iron, phosphor, and cobalt, which are necessary minerals for the human body. Particularly, iron contained in meat is the form of iron most easily absorbed by the body. So, meat consumption is advised to people with anemia. Meat and meat products are good sources of vitamin B complex of thiamine, riboflavin, niacin, biotin, B6, B12, pantothenic acid, and folicine. Meat processing in halal slaughterhouses is as following. First of all, Animals transported over various distances are gathered in waiting spaces called paddocks that can be arranged depending on the number of animals. In order to obtain quality meat, it is suggested that the stress level of animals should be reduced. Therefore, they need to be kept in paddocks at least once a day and prepared for the slaughtering. After waiting in paddocks, cattle are taken to the slaughter floor. Animals are turned towards Mecca and slaughtered in knocking box preceded by the words in the name of Allah Bismillah and then the blood is drained from the animal. First, the feet and horns are cut off. Internal organs are removed after the skinning and the carcass is broken down. Following the veterinary control, cleaning, trimming and weighing processes, the meat is taken to pre-cooling and then to cold storage until its dispatch. It does not take more than 20 minutes from the slaughtering of the animal to moving to cold storage. Small cattle are taken to slaughtering floor after waiting in paddocks. They are turned towards Mecca, slaughtered reciting Bismillah, and their blood is drained from the body. The slaughtered animal is skinned and then internal organs are removed. Pre-cooling follows veterinary control, general cleaning, trimming, and weighing, and then the meat is taken to cold storage. Modern mezbahlarda Along with slaughtering animals according to Islamic and health rules, storing them with the right technology is the most vital issue of the modern slaughterhouses. Meat is easier to store and process compared to poultry and fish and keeps for longer. However, the carcass is very important for cooling and storing of meat, and in terms of both preventing spoilage and maintaining its freshness for a long time. Spoilage rate of meat after being weighed and during the cooling should be under 2 percent. On the other hand, dark and bruised meat will reduce its market value. Therefore, it is very important that the cooling systems and capabilities are built accurately. Another important issue is the duration of storing to maintain the freshness of the meat. After the meat is removed from the carcass and cut into pieces, it can be kept in a vacuumed packaging and cold storage without freezing for 60 days, maintaining its freshness. 
It is possible to extend storage life of fresh meat to 90 days with a simple additional preventative procedure. The one and only way of doing this is to reduce the pH value of the meat from 7, when it was first slaughtered, to 5, 6, and keeping it at 5 or 6. This method also enhances the taste of the meat, creating commercial opportunities in countries with big meat demands. Carcass meat is the main raw material of the meat industry. While butchers are supporting the retail meat market with these carcasses, all the other processed meat products are also produced with the meat removed from the same carcass. Even if you have the animal race and the right way of feeding the animal, you should obtain the right carcass from your animal. Let's respect and protect our meat paying special attention to how much water and feed we use to obtain a kilo of meat. Thank you.